Hello Taurus, how are you doing? Thank you for coming into your reading. This is going to be your weekend reading from the 7th until the 8th, that first weekend of August. So let's see what's going to be going on for you. What's going to be happening for your weekend? Let's clear the space before I begin of any of the previous readings that I've done here, the energies that have been around. I call in your energy please to come in Taurus and your spirit guides as well so that they can guide the reading for us forward. While these herbs are burning there, I ask that your spirit guides also take this positive energy is through to you guys, removing blockages from your world, from your energy, allowing the flow to happen and for the highest good and bringing you some good luck as well for the new week. Why not? Let's get the first card out there. Let's get the first card out. What is your weekend going to look like? Very curious, Taurus. Let's have a look and see. Oh, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Wow, this is a culmination and we got a new moon starting. That's why I'm using Moonology Tarot deck, using that moon's energy, new moon in Leo. Leo, <laughs> the energy of Leo, even though you are Taurus, it's very interesting because it's saying you are good enough and Leo's energy, the new moon, this, new, this next week or two that we're going to be going through, this is the time to make a move. In whatever it is you want to be doing, you are good enough to do this. This is the time when you're thinking, uh, how should I do this? What, what direction should I be taking? This is the time that you make bold, brave, outstanding, out there moves. It's also a time to uh, go out there and if you're interested in somebody or you want to pursue somebody with regards to love, Leo's energy is amazing to do that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on around you. This can be anything, but whatever you're doing, don't hold back now. This is the perfect time to do this. Whatever you're thinking, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to speak to this person, I want to start something up. Very good time to start, especially because of new moon being on Sunday. Let's see, you'll be just fine, okay? Whenever I see the seven of wands coming up, especially when it's nicely in the upright position, it always tells me, you're like, going, am I going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? You are good enough. And this card literally means... Am I going to be okay? <laughs> Will I be able to achieve this? Am I going to be able to get it right? And you can see somebody kind of defending themselves against all these ones there, all these like sticks coming up from different people. Like there's competition. I'm trying to get something right. Will I manage? Basically, you are good enough and you are going to be managing. Let's see what else comes up here. You're still figuring out how to do this, what to do. For some of you guys, this is really weird. I'm just going to put this out there. I just pick up like... A man's energy. I know this is not for everyone. It's somebody considering trying to reach out to an ex-person, trying to see, can I repair this relationship? Um, and you don't know how to do it. That's just for somebody out there. I mean, this is one of you. I'm picking this up. It's like a, some somebody's going, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know what to do. I may have burned my bridges when I crossed it. You know, when we're going through something like a separation or problems in a relationship, we can say things and do things that are out of character because of the emotions that come up at that time. And because of these things that have been said and done, you may be trying to figure out, how, can I fix this? Is it even doable? So that's interesting. That's just for some of you guys out there. Seven of Pentacles, the fears are definitely in your mind um, about the stability that you want to have or whatever you're trying to achieve. There's a seven and there's another seven. Okay, that means it's a joint energy. Something about the seven as well. It can have to do with a connection, a special date. It can be seven months, seven weeks. Um, even, uh, you know, it can indicate how long you were with somebody, all those kind of energies. So let's have a look and see. King of Wands, somebody is definitely in isolation now and waiting to see what to do. Okay, with the hangman coming up there, Queen of Swords energy, whoa, you're going to know. You're going to make a decision about whatever this you need to start doing. Um, the Queen of King of Wands being there indicates that you are kind of alone right now. Uh, King of Wands in the reverse position is a bit... Uh, I sometimes like to think of the King of Wands as being a bit awkward, especially in the reverse position. The opposite would be said if it was in the upright position. Reverse position, focusing on something, focusing on work, kind of cut off from everybody, uh, doing your own thing. Holding back goes well with the King of Wands, with the hangman energy being there. Again, trying to figure out, trying to gather information, trying to figure out a way forward. When am I going to have an idea about what to do? The same energy as the Knight of Wands in the reverse position. You will have an idea because right up this weekend, I think you're going to come to some kind of conclusion, to be honest. Um, with the Queen of Swords coming up here, that's clear thought. 
I know what to do. The queen knows what to do. The queen's like, I got a solution to this problem. I know what to do. And I think I know exactly what action I'm going to be taking as well. So let's go a little bit deeper in here for you guys and just see what your spirit guides have got to say to you. Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look. Yeah, your five of wands energy, you got to get out of your head here. Because this is also another indication of the seven of wands here. Even if this, this card of am I good enough, um, the pentacles energy as well. It indicates thought processes that we have in our mind that can be telling us, I, I don't know if I'm going to get to the seven of pentacles, the stability, where I want to be. Um, and this is the energy of the doubt in the mind. It's, it's an ongoing situation. Got to shift that. And you're afraid to get hurt. Everything we do involves this risk. Everything. You take a risk on everything because you have been hurt in the past. It's something that has happened before. It can also be what makes you hold back out of fear of being hurt again. I'm putting myself out there. What if I get rejected? You know, trust me. Every time I record these videos, I think that not really, but you know, you're taking that risk. You're doing it anyway, because if you don't do something, you'll never know the truth. And yes, there's even going to be moments where there is rejection in everything, but it doesn't mean you stop. Okay, so let's see. The Ace of Cups, you're so afraid somebody turns you down. You're so afraid. Two Aces. You're so afraid that you're going to do something and someone's going to turn you down. I cannot leave you like this. Ace of Cups in the reverse position. The Ace of Wands, I can't leave you like this, Taurus. No, we're not doing that. I want to see um, if you reached out. Whew. What will happen? What will happen? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Ha. Huh. This is a very positive card. This is my favorite card. The judgment card has rocked up in your reading. You might have a very positive outcome. If I had a, if you had asked me a yes and no question and say you had asked me if I reach out to this person, will they give me a yes or a no? That would be the yes. Okay. It indicates what has been before, which is the Ten of Swords energy, um, is now over. I feel like this is actually a relationship, to be honest. What has been before, the pain that has been, the situation that did occur, is over, karmically speaking. And moving forward, there will be a new positive beginning. So if you wanted to reach out, that indicates that somebody might be receptive to you reaching out to them and willing to open up and speak to you. You even got the backing of your angels and spirit guides as well with the judgment energy being there. But there we go. Thank you so much for coming in, Taurus. If you do enjoy the video or you resonate with it, please hit that thumbs up button. You can even subscribe because my weekly readings are coming out on Sunday. So I've got weekly readings and weekend readings as well. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for coming in. I'm wishing you all the best through the rest of your weekend. Bye.